Hey, what's up guys? This is Jamo and today I'm ready to bring you another travel reaction video. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the video of uh, a YouTuber named Sly's Life. I've never seen any of his vi any of his videos before, so I'm very kind of intrigued and curious kind of about his style and techniques of his own videography. And also today's video is called Common Myths About Living in Medellin, Colombia. So it should be interesting. Without further ado, let's get started. touch on a few things uh i guess you call them myths or whatever that i see in here and other you know online and when i read reading the comments and you know other videos and stuff about living here in medellin that i think are a little misleading or a little bit maybe exaggerated and so i'm just going to touch on those things through you know my perspective through my eyes and so the first one one thing i noticed interesting he said medellin I I I I can't say I don't talk to too many Colombians. I don't know if it's Medellin or Medellin. <laughs> That's that would be interesting to know the correct or not. I, mean, I don't want to say correct, but the Colombian pronunciation. One would be living like a boss or living like a king for a thousand dollars a month, which is just not going to happen. I mean, some of you guys watching this video may be paying around eight hundred, nine hundred dollars for your apartment, so definitely not going to work out. And here's the thing. In Medellin, can you live well for a thousand dollars a month? Definitely, you can live very, very comfortable, and and a lot has to do with how much you're paying for your accommodation, right? So if you're paying, you know, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars for for your spot, and you got six, seven hundred dollars just to blow for the month, then yeah, you can live, you know, very, very nice. But when you start throwing in the word, you know, boss or king, a thousand dollars is not enough. You know, when I think of uh, living like a king, I'm assuming you're going to be in the nicest area, you know, with the nicest, one of the nicest apartments with all the Western amenities. Think, you know, cable TV in English, hot water, you know, you got 24 hour security, jacuzzi pool at the complex, all of that. You know, if you're living like a king, I'm assuming you got a girlfriend for every day of the week. You know, when you go out to eat, you can eat at fancy restaurants. You ain't got to look at the uh, menu or look at the prices, you know, so when you say live like a boss, live like a king, uh, yeah, a thousand is, is not enough, but can you live very comfortable? Can you live very well for a thousand dollars a month in Medellin? Definitely. And since we're on the topic of uh, money, let me just go ahead and say that everything is not cheaper here. Um, well, one thing I, I, uh, about this video compared to some of the other videos I reacted to uh, is very, I think, to the point. Um, I like the visuals, kind of. Uh, he's just kind of walking and he's doing kind of a voiceover. Um, I, I like that style and I've seen that before and it's very, but like, like I say, this video is very to the point. Um, yeah, I think maybe one thing I, I just I guess sonically or with the audio, it would be nice because we're seeing him kind of walk around if he had kind of a track that was kind of of the street sounds a little bit, like just like obviously very low because he's talking, but that I think that would just kind of add to the ambience kind of and just add to the video, but anyways. So this next one is going to be uh, racism, or I guess, um, like being black here in Medellin. And look, let me start off by saying that everybody's gonna have a different opinion because everybody's experiences and how they view things will be different. That's true. But for me personally, I'll say that uh, I have a friend that lives in a neighborhood called Pesebre. I think I'm saying that right, which is basically an all black neighborhood up on the hills. And so I went there, I visited her family, I met all her friends. And so when we were eating lunch together, all of us, I brought up the topic of, uh, you know, racism. Whenever I'm around, around some afro Colombians, I always bring up that topic <laughs> just to, you know, see how it is. And so I brought the topic up. And mind you, you know, these are afro Colombians that live up in the, you know, quote unquote poor area. So they had every reason to bring up the race car, but they didn't. Hmm, I like that. That was very, uh, like I said, uh, it's very informative, uh, just very to the point, very concise, which I, I like that. I can appreciate that uh, in, in a video. Uh, you know, one thing I would say, kind of to, to kind of what he's talking about, I think as an African American traveler and talking about racism, because because if you look back in some of my videos, I've talked about racism and I've talked about specifically how maybe I didn't experience racism in a country and how maybe uh, it's not really there. I like how he talked about his own experience and how he hasn't experienced it, but at the same time, he's not saying that it's not there or there's no racism in, in Colombia or wherever he is. And I think that as an African-American traveler, I think it's very important important to make that distinction because when you do, I feel like when you do say, oh, I didn't experience racism, so there's no racism here, you're, I think, kind of demeaning and also kind of belittling 
uh, people who actually who live in the country and actually do experience racism. So I, I, I like how he worded um, kind of talking about racism and his experience and then, of course, the general experience for Colombians, Afro-Colombians. I think that was very well worded. Uh, last one, I'm going to end this um, speaking about the Colombian women. So if you're a female watching this, I appreciate you uh, clicking on the video and taking time to watch this. You can go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> You can go ahead and get out of here if you don't want to hear about this topic. But basically for all the fellas, uh, and this is just my opinion. Now keep in mind, beauty is very subjective, all right? But when you come to Medellin, you're not going to see, at least in my opinion, you're not going to see a ton of tens walking around the city. Mm. I think that gets a little uh, exaggerated. <laughs> you know, where the city of Medellin, or Colombia in general, but the city of Medellin, where it separates itself from, you know, other places in the world, I believe, is the amount of um above average looking women so if you're into numbers think eight you know just tons of eights walking around the city that's where, um, what what is it it would be he should give a visual of what is an eight to him that's interesting of um you know just above average highly attractive uh looking women here okay cool wow that was uh, like i said our you know that was a very good um very good video like i said very concise very to the point very straightforward um, I think that, um, you know, most of the videos that I've seen so far have kind of been longer and there's been a lot of kind of, I don't want to say filler, but there's been a lot of maybe unneeded or unnecessary kind of footage in it. But that was, like I said, very to the point, very concise. Um, visually, I think it was great. He was just kind of walking around the city and you kind of get a sense of the city. Um, I think if he had added some some soft ambient sounds, uh, while he was talking, you know, I think that would have added to the experience and made it a little bit more um, I don't know just kind of makes you feel like you're you're there a little bit more uh, when you add the sounds and and the the content or the Substance of what he was saying. I, I think it was very good. I, that, that all sounds like uh, I've never been to Colombia, but it all sounds very um, plausible sounds very very real um, yeah, and I'm sure probably in other videos, he's probably has interviewed actual Colombians. That's the only thing I would say. I mean, obviously this was his, from his perspective and he said that, but it would be nice to hear kind of, um, these friends and these people that he's talking to kind of their own, their perspective as well. But I'm sure he probably has done that in other videos. Well guys, cool. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, reaction video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below in the comment section. If you want to recommend a video for me to watch. Uh, please do that as well. I'd really appreciate that. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day or night. And bye.